How are you going? All right, well, 1996. Yeah. Woo! Gang has come out. It's amazing. It's 64, greatest system ever, all time. All right. Oh wait, it's 2010. Fuck right, we doing? So this is Josh from uh, Amazingly Terrible <coughs> and Brady. What's up? Uh, from I don't know. Some dude. Right, some random place from the streets. From the mean streets. That's where he's from. And we're taking a quick look at Mario, Super Mario 64. Uh, one of the best games ever made. For the Nintendo 64. Discuss. No, it's, a, it's, it's, de it's by law one of the best games ever made. By Josh's law? <laughs> no, by all, all laws. And we're just going to show you uh, like some levels because it's amazing. This game is definitely good. So, I played this back in 96, and I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have an NES, uh, when this, when this in game first N64? came, I mean, in 64, yeah, when this game first came out, uh, I, uh, I bought the strategy guide, though, because it looked awesome, and, uh, and I just read that in school instead of, like, doing homework and stuff, because the game was awesome, it still is awesome, and you memorized it, and I memorized the whole game. Because it's amazing. It's still one of the best games ever made. I'd still play this over like 90% of all games today. Well, true. But I'd rather play like Pac Man over 90% of all the games I've made. Yeah. Uh, Pac Man's good. I'm just saying. You know, Are you saying like Pac Man Championship Edition? I'm just saying any game. Well, anyways, the point is, like, you know, this game was completely different time. First 3D Mario game ever made. It was um, like one of the first 3D, like, full 3D world games ever made. We're not going to tell you about 98? Okay. So, yeah, that's right. You're right. This, was, this came with, like, the N64. It's like, you bought it in 64. That's I right. I think you got yeah. this game with it. And it was great. It, that was great, because this game is one of the best of all time. Like I said, one of the best games of all time. For the N64, I agree. For anything. Um, I and I really like it. For, for its time, it was amazing. It's no Banjo-Kazooie for you. <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie. It's was fucking it, terrible. Was a good game, but it's definitely not better than this game. I I, I will give you that. Um, I, I actually don't dislike Banjo Kazooie. I just kind of, goddamn it. The only thing I really hate about Banjo Kazooie is the voice acting. Or like you don't it. like the uh, Ika Boko. Yeah, yeah. Dog ass. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. that's rare style though. That's yeah, but it's terrible. Anyway, we're talking about Super Mario 64. We can talk about whatever. It doesn't well, matter. I don't care. We should be talking about this game. So yeah, and, like and people were stuff. people were scared. Uh, I'd have to imagine people were scared. Uh, oh god, when uh, when this uh, game was announced because it was like Mario first being and uh, <laughs> uh, Mario first being in a uh, 3D, 3D world. world, you know, yeah. it's kind of like how like they brought Metroid from a 2D world to a. Uh, yeah, 3D, 3D world, but they made it like first a first person. person yeah, game, that was terrible. Yeah. Well, I, I thought it was terrible. awesome. It was, it was, it was great. It was great. It was, it was, it was different. Metro Prime also I one felt, of the best I felt games scared. of all time. Yeah, it was a great game. Um, well, Prime really? Yeah, Metro Prime, the first uh, one is is definitely up there for me. It's one of the best games of all time. Yeah. The sequels, not so much, but I, like the first game is amazing. I think the first game served its purpose. I didn't think it was one of the greatest games. It's just so good, like, but, it, like but the uh, the going. I, I agree, it's good, and it's definitely a different experience. It's not what you think of when you think of Metroid, but for this is, I feel this is like ten times more, like, uh, what's the word, traumatic? Uh, well, not traumatic, but like intense and more cared about and. and yeah, uh, the more. Uh, this is probably more uh, respected. Or respected, right but it's also like it was more like it was. They were more worried about this being a 3D world than Metroid. Because even though Metroid's amazing, like, you know, Mario's Mario. I, even when people who don't play games were Mario. Like, some um, people think Metroid's just kind of like, don't even know what it is half the time. But well, Metroid definitely is a, the, like, one of the, the, probably the weirdest of, I just fucked that up. <laughs> one of the weirdest of uh, the Mario, I mean, the Nintendo franchises. That's true, I agree. Um, I don't know. I like, I like, um... I like all of them. I don't know. Uh, also, I have to think the same goes with Zelda because, like, Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, all, Ocarina of Time definitely was in 3D, and then the uh, previous ones were not 2D. <coughs> but the the, the main damn, I did the same thing again. The problem is with Zelda is is it's an adventure game, whereas Mario was a platformer. So I could totally see how people. 
people are more psyched about Zelda being in 3D because it's an adventure game. You can have more places to search and explore and stuff like that. Whereas Mario is a platform where you get to one place and the next, and these little mini levels, yeah. which is insane. Also, I gotta be saying that we're playing this on the fucking Wii. Of course, because so we suck. Classic controller. Because we suck. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, yeah. Because because we should be playing it on a sixty-four. Because this controller, even though the sixty-four controller is terrible, like no, I, wait, I, I have to stop you there. It's six. It's six. Uh, it's sixty-four controller. This is the best controller out there. Yeah. If the analog stick wasn't terrible. Using the D-pad is fucking terrible. Using the D-pad? Who uses the D-pad? I'm just saying, if you have to use the D-pad, it is fucking terrible. I'm saying the D-pad... Like, the reason that controller was made is to say, Hey, fuck the D-pad. D-pad sucks, analog why sticks were that. Why did they have a D-pad, then? Because people wanted to have D... Because remember, that was when analog sticks first came out. And they're like... What about that? Yeah. And I was like, oh my god. Um, I don't know what this is. I need a D-pad. The D-pad was so awkward. They're like, all right, let me get this analog. D-pad's fucking track. terrible. Though I did use the D-pad for like at WCW vs. NWO World Tour and shit. Like the wrestling yeah, games fun. mostly. But like, I the wrestling all- games on the N64 are fucking amazing. I mean, all a lot of N64 had some really great games. They did. We should play them. We uh, will probably play Star Fox here. Oh, no, Star Fox is great. But um, I, mean, I I'm not really into Star Fox. Really? I'll say it. I was I didn't really. I had friends that were way into it when it came out, but uh, I just couldn't get into it. Um, cause I don't know if it's like, cause it's like I don't know. It's just like an on rail shooter, which is kind of which is cool. It's all right, but like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I um. I don't know. What? Fuck. Oh. Oh but, yeah. Star Fox was great in some ways, but, uh... I, I'm... Uh, yeah, maybe when we do the Star Fox one, we'll talk about We'll talk about that, but yeah, Star... Super Mario... Mario 64 still holds up, even though the camera is fucking atrocious, but... Yeah, yeah, that's the main problem with the game, but... I don't even think... Yeah, I mean, the camera was bad... I don't even think it was bad for its time, because, like... For its time, wasn't God, a 3D, that was There wasn't a, really a 3D... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's happening? There wasn't a, a 3D controlled game. Yeah, I mean, you're right. 96. It's true. You had, like, Pandemonium and stuff in, like, 95. Uh, you had some, like, PlayStation 1 games trying to trying to do stuff. It's but. true. But, you know, this is, like, first, like, generation. It's still one of the greatest 3D games. Yeah, it's... I mean, especially platformers? Can't really get much better than 64 or any of the Super Mario. You could say you kind of say it peaked with this with the uh, Mario games because like Sunshine's kind of more or less the same like this. And yeah, Galaxy but... adds some. Add, they they both like add some crazy stuff. The problem is with those games, it took a completely different direction than this. Hey, well here's a platformer, do something. The other one's like now it's messed with gravity. Now it's messed with water. There's not like hey here's the princess go get her like you used to. Yeah, those are all in the Paper Mario's now, which is fine. I mean, I'm not like complaining Man, about it. Man, we should it, play but... Paper Mario. Oh my god! I... Actually, I don't really like the. I was about to say I, the I original enjoy... one. The original was good for its time, but now that Thousand Year Doors out, yeah. I don't want to play it anymore. Thousand Year Doors. And I'd rather play Super Paper Mario, Thousand... even though I didn't really like it. Thousand Year Doors is probably one of my favorite uh, RPGs of all time. Ooh, I wouldn't go that far. Thousand Year Doors. But Thousand, it's, Thousand it's so Year Doors. Fu- it's so like funny. It is. It is definitely funny. It is very creative. It's charming. It's. Yeah. It's, it has a fun combat system. Like, the game itself was really incredible, but it's not my favorite. I can't pick favorites, man. Of you the know. Mario game? Or like, of the Mario RPG game? Is that what you're saying? No! God or is no. it not your favorite RPG? Not my favorite RPG. Oh. Uh, I mean, you understand that. Man, I don't even remember what fucking Red Toys are in this. I'm not. I'm I know you're about to die. Oh, shit. You're right. And death. Uh, nope. Yep. Oh, I tried to backflip. <laughs> but yeah, Super Mario's great. Um, Mario 64, um, still amazing. Um, yeah, I really want... I mean, the bugs in the game were always beneficial. Like, jumping through that floor to get to that room. I forgot, out, like, in the later level. There's so, like, there, there's some weird-ass bugs in this game. But they don't really hurt the gameplay at all. Yeah. And if, if anything, they just make it better. Yeah, that's true. Because, like, all the all the funny little glitches and all, like, the hidden stuff is just, like... Oh, there's the red ones. Yeah. This is great. 
And, and yeah, what was really cool about this is it's the same thing about why I like GTA 3 as well. Uh, GTA 3 where, is a great game. Where GTA 3 it was like. Uh, the later GTA games had it be like um, more controlled about what you could do. Right. Like. Like, you would solve most of your problems in GTA 3 with, uh, pile up a bunch of cars and, 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 and to block this NPC, yeah, to block this NPC from opening this door. And right, and then blow them up. up, yeah. Yeah, stuff like that, like, where you would just use the environment. But then, later on, they, they kind of didn't want you doing that, so they would reset the cars and shit like that. Yeah. You know, um... So, yeah, like, you would find in a bunch of a bunch of spots in Mario 64 where you could just, like, improvise, and sometimes the shit will just work. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the cool thing about, the real cool thing about uh, the 3D way is you can go, like, with platforming, and especially with 2D platforming, you can only go one direction. Yeah. There's one direction you can go, especially in the first Mario's, and that's right. Yeah. But I mean, those now, are great games too. I, I mean, mean, they're phenomenal. But I'm just saying, like, and that's what people liked about it. So like, it was simple. It was great story. Like, it just felt like Mario like adapts to the times pretty well. I mean, seriously, like, like he like he could have just shout out like where Sunshine kind of felt like he shout out like another um, another Mario you know game that we've kind of played before. Like at least that's why it felt to me. Um, but then Galaxy comes and it's and it's totally different. But Sunshine was different, but it was, I fucking hate Sunshine. It, but like, I don't hate it. I just think it was kind of generic. I hate Sunshine because the water pack. Well, I mean, the water pack was kind of water pack's terrible. It, was, it definitely was, makes the game super easy. Um, but the water pack makes it super easy. Yeah, yeah. There's the the best levels in Sunshine are when they just take that water pack away. With the Bowser levels, yeah. The, well, they're like bonus, like baby Bowser and like. Like water Mario comes and yeah. takes your jetpack. Yeah. I mean those are cool. I like the jetpack. I think it's an interesting take on it. Um It had a lot more story. Which is weird. <laughs> yeah, the CG cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, like where That freaked me out. I was like, this, this isn't With Mario. Peach talking and shit. And Peach is like, I'm worried about Mario. And then like like Mario gets thrown in jail at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what, what, where's like where's the cake and where's like Bowser? Yeah, where's coming? like I'm gonna bake a cake for you. <laughs> Come to the castle, yeah. we have peaches and like Exactly. And, well I am Peach, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We right. have like cake. Yeah. We have some cake. It's my birthday or it's like our wedding. And, exactly, yeah. And, like, yeah. we go chill, and then Bowser comes and ruins everything. But, shit. like, you kill your own, like, you're, you're trying to kill your own shadow. Which is weird enough. Yeah. At the beginning of the game. You know, it's just like, what is happening? No, like, all, all, all main franchise Mario, uh, Nintendo games, like, have the shadow version. Like, Samus has a shadow. Well, I mean, there's like, nothing wrong with shadow. shadow. I'm just saying it's just kind of, you know, that wasn't the whole point. You know, when you think Samus, I think, like, Ridley. When I think Samus, I think of like and Mother Brain, and the Brain. Uh, yeah, when I think of Samus, I think of like Metroids. Yeah. I mostly think of Metroid Prime a lot. And I, then think I think of, of, I think of Super Metroid. See, like I never, got, I never got on Super Metroid Train. Like I know it's a great game, and I played. I never it. got on the train. I played the right, real, uh, regular, like the first Metroid. I think I just played it. Else. I I must have just played it too late because. You know, I, I was kept comparing it to other games that have preceded it. You know, that game came out in '94, and and like I played Symphony of the Night since before. Oh like, well, yeah, like and, it's like this game. It's like if you played Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy Two. Yeah, you go and, back and play this. And, and you go like, back and play this. You're like, I feel like it's it, you'd be like, oh, this is like Super Mario Galaxy Two without all like the good graphics and all the other stuff. But yeah. this game is still so good. Think about like. How the, big this game is. This is like a 30, like, what, 64 megabyte game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and like, it is insane. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just love, like, there's so much to love. The music's really good. The, oh my god, the music is incredible. The characters, like, the char like this thing's really cool, and, uh, um, like, the, 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 the snowman's cool, and the penguin. Like, you just meet so many cool characters and environments that, uh, the game's classic. <laughs> the one thing I have to say about the Mario series, though, the only thing that bothers me is, like, should Mario just find another bitch and just leave? Cause, well, I mean, Peach is like, you know, sure, she's a ruler and everything, but she always goes somewhere. She's, like, the worst ruler ever. It's like, bitch, just get a guard. Yeah. And, like, stop Bowser. Just shoot him. Yeah, but I think she just likes being kidnapped. I think I, I think she just likes getting raped. 
Yeah. I think that's like her whole Who thing. Who doesn't? Because seriously, like, she bakes cakes and then gets kidnapped. And like, I don't know. It's just, yeah. You think, like, and, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, and you had all these suits? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Suit. <laughs> that's what I liked it. It still kept the suits pretty well because, you know, and all the. Especially in three, man, the different suits were. were huge. And, and Mario 3? Like, yeah! About? Yeah, Mario 3, like, they had. Do they have suits? Like, well, oh yeah, they had suits. Like, these are hats, yeah. But yeah, they're more or less suits. Um, and they were great. They're great here. Oh yeah. Right here, we're getting the metal cap. Breaking that shit. Sorry. What sucks about this one, you gotta jump down here and get all the red coins down here. There's one more right there. Okay, yeah. The stars right there. Yeah, I mean, man, I fucking hate. Like these are like these are the stars that I hate. Or you have to like do them in one shot, or else you're fucked. Yep. Those suck. Oh yeah. Well, we, the the cool thing about this is you don't have like a time frame. You can just do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if you cool. don't break the block. Yeah. So that's nice. But like. I hate the games. They're just like, hey, you have this one chance to do it. If yeah, you don't 30 know, seconds. And if you don't know what the, where the hell it is, you're fucked. Yeah. Also, the Yahoo jump. Best jump in the game. Oh, yeah. Though, like, they kind of nerfed it in every other Mario game. I don't even think all the other 3D Mario games have the Yahoo jump. Because it's broken? Because it's amazing. It gets you where you need to go, like, fast. It is a broken move. That I mean, it gets, like, any floor you're on, it jumps, like, half, half the size. Yeah, you just keep over. going. Just don't stop for nothing. Like, man, fuck this. Just, like, just drop down here. Don't care. Also, refilling your health by, like, like coming out of water is amazing. Like, that shit is amazing, and they took it out of all the other... Oh, fuck. Because they realized, oh, wait, this makes no goddamn sense. You fall, like, 50 <laughs> feet off building, you're almost about to die. Let's just do a jump in some water. Yes. Oh, I feel so much better. Refill that... Mario's a sponge. Refill that fucking health. It's so, like, if Mario was a sponge, I would totally understand. But he's a plumber. He's gotta refill that I mean, health. I mean, he... This is... This star fucking sucks, by the way, because I don't... I don't know if I ever... I might make it in this one shot, though. Yep. I did it. Cool. That star painted my balls. I always try and jump it. That's... I think that's why I fuck it up. Yeah. See? Yahoo jump. If I didn't have the Yahoo jump there, it would suck. Backflip. <laughs> yeah. I mean... So, yeah. I think, uh... I think we spent enough time on, uh... Mario 64, anything? Any final thoughts? This game's um, amazing. This they game... need to make a sequel. I'm tired of... You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mario Galaxy games. and Mario Galaxy 2 and Sunshine are fine, but, you know, they just add too much stuff for, to go back... What about this stuff? So you mean, Remember like, Mario... Game from... Yeah. Mario when... 64 too. Yeah. You know, they talked about making, like, a Mario 128 and, the... for the GameCube. But and they, they showed it. And they showed it... They showed, like, 128 little Marios running... Well... The, this Mario size Mario running uh, on the top of a GameCube. And, and like, you know what? I don't feel the plumber. I think in GameCube well, the, they should just make a window washer. It sounds well, great. Yeah. They just used the tech. They just used the tech to uh, help make Galaxy. So um, I agree. I mean, that's awesome. And I like I like the direction it made. But seriously, which will do sequel? We will do Galaxy pretty soon. Well. Sequel? Come on. We need, we need I'll play. Sequel. I mean, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck a sequel would be. But, uh, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Mario 64 will always be close to my heart of being one of the greatest games ever made. Even though it has, like, camera problems. It's still, like, charming as hell. The stars, like, I, I like collecting these stars. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like all the other games after this, like, Added bullshit like collect a hundred blue coins or like collect these gems or crystals or yeah it's balls, like, huh? it's like now yeah. here's there's like a hundred green stars like we just added more stars. here's the ghost stars here's the yeah if you collect them at a certain time you get this platinum coin here you yeah. go I mean it's terrible but... yeah Mario Six Four one of the best games ever made. Uh, go play it. 10 out of 10 on for all of us. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Uh, numbers. Alright, see you later. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.